Hey everybody and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. I'd like you to meet Dipper and Pegasus, the Mexican waxy leaf frogs. I named them Dipper and Pegasus because the spots on their back resemble stars and the spot patterns look like constellations. In fact, on Dipper, his spot pattern looks like the Big Dipper, as you can see here. And on Pegasus, his spot pattern doesn't really resemble anything, I just like the name Pegasus. I call them Mexican Waxy Leaf Frogs, but I can get confused because they have many other names. In fact, they have two scientific names, and I'm not sure which one's correct. And if you know which one's correct, please say in the comments. One of them is Agalicinus Dachnicolor, while the other one is Pachymedusa Dachnicolor. And their other sign common names are the Mexican Leaf Frog, Mexican Giant Tree Frog, and the Mexican Waxy Frog. And these frogs are not to be confused with the Waxy Monkey Tree Frog, which get bigger, slightly resemble them, and are from South America. They are called waxy because their skin produces a waxy substance that helps protect them from drier conditions. And in turn, they can be tolerate these dry conditions, but it would be recommended for them to live at at least 50% humidity. They are from Mexico and live in tropical rainforests with a fresh water supply. These frogs are insectivores, which means in the wild, they'll be eating any invertebrates that they can get their mouths around, but in captivity, you're mostly going to be feeding them crickets. These frogs are nocturnal, but being tree frogs, you can often see them hiding in plain sight by sticking to leaves and plants. They are a green color and get duller when they become adults, and what's really cool is at night, they get become very purpley. They're actually starting to get that purple color now because it's a bit darker. And they also have the white spots, like I said, that look like stars, and they have a whitish belly. These frogs are juveniles about one month old, but will get much bigger when they're adults, about five inches. The females are a bit bigger than the males, and they will need a bigger enclosure. The adult's minimum is an 18 by 18 by 24 but the young ones will do just fine in a 12 by 12 by 18. It is actually very interesting on how these frogs reproduce. In the wild, they will lay their eggs on a leaf dangling over water, and once the eggs hatch into tadpoles, the tadpoles will fall into the water and grow until they become tree frogs. And in captivity, if you have a bunch of males and females living together, which they'll do just fine because they get along, you may think that you're going to have a bunch of tadpoles and eggs. And if you think that, you are probably wrong, because to get them to breed, you need very special conditions, including a barometric pressure drop and some form of simulated rain. The adults need daytime temperatures approaching 80 degrees Fahrenheit with a hot spot of, at most, 90 degrees. But the young ones will do just fine in any temperature and they can tolerate a 20 degree temperature drop at night. And they will also require at least 12 hours of day for a day-night cycle. I just got these frogs, so the next thing I'm going to do is make a live planted bioactive enclosure for them, and the video on that will be out next week. So that is Dipper and Pegasus, the Mexican waxy leaf frogs. So thanks for watching, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.